Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a shop GUI in Roblox Studio. So let's get into it. Firstly, go to server script service and then add a script. Then rename the script to leader stats. Then you're just gonna follow my code. So yeah. So this should be the script done and then next we're gonna go to starter GUI and then add a screen GUI then we rename this screen GUI to shop GUI then you're going to insert a text button or an image button if you just wanted text like saying shop then add a text button but if you want an image then do an image button so I'm gonna do an image button and then position it right here so I'm gonna scale this just like that and then I'm gonna use a plugin called Unscale Light it will be in the link in the description so we're gonna use the unit conversion and then click position scale and size scale like that Next, I'm going to find a decal or an image in the toolbox. So I'm going to use the shop icon here. So I'm going to right click and copy asset ID. Then you're going to go to the image button and then int paste the ID. Just like that. Next, you're going to want to customize it. So I'm just going to add... I'm just gonna change the color to that and then I'm going to add a UI corner it's optional if you want but for me I want to add a UI corner right inside there and then also a UI stroke set to 3 there then next you're gonna add a frame oh wait I forgot rename the image button to shop button there. and then you're gonna adjust the frame to the center there and then also scale it like this Customize this also so I'm gonna change the background color and I'm going to add then you're going to insert the text label inside the frame. Then you're gonna wanna scale this to the side like this, and then you're gonna change the text to shop. Customize this. Gonna change the sex color to white and change the font. Then you're gonna wanna change the background transparency of the sex table to one, and then 
this is uh, optional but you can add a UI stroke so so I'm gonna customize the shop and then I'm just gonna tap lapse the video of me customizing this frame so yeah I'll see you later after the time lapse. The for the shop button, insert a local sc local script in the shop button, and then follow my script. Okay, this should be our script done for the shop button so that when we click this, it will open the shop. Oh yeah, and I also forgot we have to use auto scale light for for this. So for the frame That's done. Next, for the buy button, ins insert a local script and then also follow this code. Okay, let's stop with the scripting here we're gonna so for this insert your model or your item so I'm gonna insert the store and then we're gonna go to lightning and then insert the folder in lightning and then Rename this folder to tools. Then insert the sort 
sword, the item in there. And now, continue with the script. So this should be the script done. Now let's test the game. Let's test it if it works. So firstly, go to your frame here and then scroll down in properties and then untick visible. There, so that it won't be seen. Now let's test the game. I forgot something in the script. One line. It's so dumb. It's a parent equals backpack. That should be good. So now let's test the game. As you can see, my microphone was glitching. So this is the final results.